Right guys, day off, cup of coffee all over my fingers, bit warm. Um, so what I'm going to do today is, first of all, pick up dog crap, which is everywhere. Um, <clears throat> and then what I've got to do is, um, I need to lay this patio down the back of my pump house. That has to be done. My sister lives next door. She's got loads of dumpy bags or ton bags of... Um, of sand and stuff like that and aggregate and I gotta get rid of that. So I don't wanna double hand it. So what I'm gonna do is clean up the whole garage. It is absolutely uproar in there. So I'm gonna clean everything down, tidy the garage up to give me some room. <clears throat> I got a funny feeling my boat is gonna be coming back into the garage probably tomorrow. Um, I gotta take it out of the harbor. Well, it's out of the harbor, but I need to take it back to do oil change, impeller, all that kind of stuff on the uh, on the motor and a few little bits and bobs that I've got to do on it as well, ready for the new season. Um, and I've got a few things to do on the pond as well. So I've got loads of stuff to do. Still got to go and plumb in the skimmer. It's just not enough time in the day at the moment. I'm so busy in work, it's insane. You know what I mean? You've got to make the money to be able to spend it on stuff that you like. So yeah, unfortunately I've been really work, uh, really busy in work, but um, I have cleaned the underbuild and I've been doing a bit of modeling. Let me show you. So. <clears throat> so what I have been doing is leaving the lid of my Tamiya Super Thin. So just a quick one. Um, this is my modeling station. Normally we've got something on there. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, at the moment making a Jag Panther. So I've done my zimmer it. And I've made new handles. <coughs> Excuse me, and I think what I'm going to do is a yeah, is that color scheme? I like it. No, I'm not. That's yeah, number one. Yeah, that's the color scheme I'm doing on this. So I've got various amounts of color, various different color schemes, but that's what I'm going for. And uh, if anyone's interested, it's a men kit, it's the second one I've made of this because the first one I've made is. Hmm. Is it in there? I can see a tiger tank. I can see a World War One. I. I can see a Messerschmitt. I'm not sure what it is, guys. But anyway, this is all my modeling stuff. Minus a little bit of model, uh, fish stuff. But um, got plenty of stuff to make in here, guys. And I actually, I don't know why I done it, but I actually bought this kit the other day. Look at the prices of these kits now. There used to be a tenner. That's an old kit that I plan on doing, but even that one two or three years ago was that much. But um, anyway, I got these as well. I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> one and 35 scale World War II tank rounds, 75 mils. And because I was going to start modeling again, I thought it'd be really cool to get myself a new cutting mat. So I bought this black one, but then I seen this one from the Bovington Tank Museum. And look at that, it's got the schematics of a tiger tank on there. I thought that was really cool. So anyway guys, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I might put all my models in there again, give that a clean and get all my models on display in there. But do you think I've got enough paints guys? I've got more in those boxes, trust me. Um, yeah, some of my, that was made from scratch. All of those, every single one of those bricks was cut out and made. <laughs> Oh, look, looks like my missus down there. Um, no, the, my missus is this side there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, look, she's doing a handstand there underneath the strip side. Oh, yes. Oh. So for that one, guys, I actually won a, uh, a competition in Warhammer, which I was quite proud of. And there's one in here, guys. I don't think you can see it. Yes, it's right on the top by there. It's a World War II U-boat. Um, and I actually won best in show in the London model show. So I was quite pleased with that one. But anyway, we'll probably get back to this tonight. Do some more of this. Lots more to do. Yeah, lovely. Anyway, let's get on to uh, the proper work, which is outside. Check my wall, guys. Looks like a dwarven cavern. Lovely artwork. Right guys, we're slowly getting there with the tidy up. I have to tidy up before I can lay the slab down here. So I've got all my tiles ready. Um, 
I've been tidying up little bits and bobs to store. So we've got to get rid of all this timber. Um, I'm slowly tidying everything up, guys. It is an absolute mess here. Oh, right then, guys. <laughs> got the cement mixer back out. Tidied the garage. Um, I've laid some spare blocks. I know, spare blocks uh, on here. I've got enough room to make a drain down there before I render this. Need to get a few more blocks actually to do this section, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start slabbing. If I can slab at least one third of this, um, I'd be quite happy. So what I'm gonna do is get a mix on. I need to get rid of some uh, some uh, ton bags out there. So I'm gonna start laying this. So uh, we'll see where the day brings us. It's getting a bit late now. We haven't got a lot of light left these days. So uh, yeah. I like that though. Right, yo, there we are, guys. That's enough for today. I've pretty much been at it all day. But look, my garage is clean. Um, and uh, I've done quite a bit of the patio. So what I've done is I've got a mismatch of uh, patio slabs. I've got some uh, some nice uh, uh, real stone kind of... Uh, 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 grey Indian slate which is what I've got around all my pond um, uh, walls and all that kind of stuff and I had loads of that left over so what I've done is I've utilised that and some cheaper tiles and I'm making a fandango kind of like little patchwork thing but I think it's going to look good uh, I'm also going to match it on with the um, with the pathway as well so let me spin you around and show you what I've done so guys, what I've done is I've actually, I don't know if you can see it, but I've put a course of block on flat all the way up there. They're only dry lay in there, fitted, um, but I've got a small drain bit here. So that's where my uh, drain's gonna come through. Um, and what I've done is this so far, guys. So um, these are the cheaper ones all the way around the outside. Uh, I'm following the slope of the actual ground here. Uh, and these are the nice Indian grey sandstone. And I've got some more there. So what I'm planning on doing is I've got a, a ring of these cheaper ones around it with a 24 centimetre um, little reveal all the way around. Not quite sure what I'm going to do there yet, but it'll be something cool. Um, and what I've got to do next is I've got some more of these. So I'm going to work out tomorrow. Uh, what I'm going to do to finish this, but I need a little bit of a, a soak away here, which will go straight down. Uh, there's a retaining wall there, so it'll just go straight down uh, and into the echo drain or pretty much just straight underneath everything. So, uh, yeah, starting to look a bit tidier. Just cleaned up the uh, cement mixer. I've got that on my uh, beautiful lawn and I've got my jet wash, but I'll get those off now. But um, yeah, quite chuffed with that, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, Again, doesn't look like, no, it does look like I've done quite a lot, to be honest. I'm quite happy with the, the progress today, considering I've uh, took the boy for a walk and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Oh, the missus is up there. Are you all right? Oh, and my sister's up there. Hello, sister. Ah, oh, never live next door to your sister because she makes strange noises when she takes her fella back. It's a bit uncomfortable. If you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, she doesn't really. Um, well, not that I've heard. Anyway, um, yeah, nothing much has happened in here, guys. But let's go in anyway. Oh, this is going to be lovely. Lovely little patio in there. I'm going to have my bar here. Um, what I have been doing, guys, um, I've changed the parameters of my pond water. So um, I got a Hannah KH meter and my KH was way down, so it was like 1.7. So what I've done is, um, every day last week, or this week, last week, the week just gone, and um, I've been putting half a cup of bicarb in to raise my KH, um, and it's, it's great. So my KH, as we speak now, is at seven. So that's lovely. So, um, but it has raised my, my TDS up, which uh, I've been told by someone in the know, don't worry about that, pal. It's the KH you need to worry about. So I'm glad I've done that. It still looks like a bit of a mess in here. But what I have got is I've got a little ring camera because when I was up Kent on the growing show, um, I wanted to keep an eye on the parameters. So 
that works really well. I'm going to put that really neat up in the corner here somewhere when I uh, finally get back in here. I am hoping to um, to uh, plumb in the skimmer at some point. Um, again, you know, it's just time, guys. It is just time. It is absolutely crazy how little amount of time I've got at the moment. But look how airy and cloudy it is. Oh, very sexy. But yeah, I'm very happy with this, guys. So, like I said, I've got this reveal here, but I have got a load more Indian sandstone. What I could even do, mate, is a, is a nice concrete reveal and put a load of grey pebbles in it. Do you know what I mean? That would look quite nice. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there, but I'll do something. Even if I've got to go and buy something uh, to go there, it's not the end of the world. So, um, yeah, that's the score there. But like I said, even a nice concrete reveal there, you know, better than no, no patio at all. But I really don't want to spend nothing on this. I want this to be a little Brucey bonus, which has cost me absolutely nada. And that means nothing in Espanol. So anyway, guys, um, let's turn, let's go have a look at the fish really quick. I want to show you my grow and show bad boy. Ah, right, up we go. Oh, this is lovely. So let me come back to you one second. Yeah, so here we are, guys. Um, it's nice and clean up here, to be honest. Um, and here's the fish. Um, yeah, fish are all looking nice and tidy. There's my grow on. There's the sheer, uh, the Hyatt Zuri down there. Uh, absolutely fantastic. So mine's 40 cm on the button when I when I got him uh, the other day. So um, yeah, uh, I've got everyone's information now. And I uh, over Christmas I am going to make a. A certificate and send one out to everyone and make a little um little whatsapp group but another thing i've been doing guys i don't know if i showed you at the start of this video i think i did but i've been doing a bit of modeling i think i did show you that's where the light's on but it's been a long day i can't even remember but anyway i'm gonna have a glass of wine and come back down here later on but i have promised my missus a good time if you know what i mean so um i'm bound to that as well so i suppose i gotta do my husbandly duties Oh, hiya, hiya. Did you hear what I just said? Right now, mister. Why? Have you been outside all day? Okay, I'm coming in now. Let me just uh, turn the lights off. I'll be up. She can be really ballsy sometimes when she's on camera. But trust me, I wear the pants. <laughs> I do. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. It's another little uh, lovely day off I've had. Quite chuffed with my patio, not going to lie. Um... Hopefully I'll break the back of that tomorrow. Um, yeah, might have to get another bag of cement or so, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Watch this space. <laughs>